he choke. He literally choke. We're barely 60 days into 2024 and I think we already have it. We already have the most elaborate wedding of the year in Nigeria. Hashtag love on beating 24, aka the wedding between top tier designer Vicky James and her man, her man, her man, <laughs> Femi. Yo, let me know in the comments, am I speaking too soon or you agree with me because, I mean, I don't know who is going to top this. I know there are people out here in Nigeria that have the shmoney, but for the most part, what I saw, there are weddings that trend right and then there's vicky james's wedding period poor hey y'all shata here per usual hey, 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 hey. the curator of this channel and also the convener of the best fashion analysis channel in this side of the atlantic welcome to the first episode of fashion roast in 2024 we've really come a long way since i dropped the first episode almost two years ago april in 2022 to be precise and the growth has been amazing from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you so much y'all for your support for your kind comments and most especially the push you all don't even let me take a break when anything is trending my inbox is full people are sending me pictures when are we getting this when are we getting this i am so 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 grateful please subscribe if you're not yet a member of the chantel nation family i am this close to hitting 60,000 subscribers and it will mean the whole world if you can make that happen for me don't forget to give the video a thumbs up as well share it because i know people will enjoy watching and also engage in the comments by leaving a comment or two Alrighty, thank you moving on i put up a poll with multiple options on my community asking you all how you would want this fashion rose to pan out and by landslide vicky's outfits analysis was the choice but because they are now one when you get married husband and wife become one i'm going to be adding femi into the mix i'll be reviewing a total of 16 looks today nine for vicky and seven for her husband femi they weren't joking with any of us at all back to back Sleep. As expected, there was no theme for most of the events, so I don't have a clear yardstick to use for my rating. That being said, I'll be rating their looks based on fit, style, and color combination. Kicking things off with the introduction looks. Vicky in this bottle green mermaid hem skirt, paired with a matching pep hem corset blouse complete with structured sleeves this was made by the designer obviously and the vicky james official team <laughs> outfit was heavily hand beaded with a mix of gold and black stones the fit on her is exquisite styled by shewon opted to keep accessorizing in the same color spare as the outfit with these crystal embellished versace pumps Simkai metal shell clutch and Luido, hope I'm pronouncing that well, Luido jewelry set. The bronze out makeup look by Arikie MUA is stunning. Otto Gele fan by Chai Gele complemented her facial structure so well. A different care did her thing on hair and um, her, her customized hand fan sealed the entire look, I would say. A very befitting introduction look which can easily be rocked as a traditional wedding outfit but when the designer is also the bride we are not we are not doing that this look gets a 7.5 out of 10 from me femi representing vicky james man in this plain beige kaftan complete with a brocade or would i say jacquard i'm not sure long line jacket shoe of choice are these reddish brown woven leather loafers with gold buckle detail. Accessorizing was completed with a pair of gold frame sunglasses, cufflinks, leather bracelets, and a brown ashoke filler. The hem of the pants was cropped just right on his ankles and the sleeves of the shirt sits great as well. Um, you can't call this too simple or overdress. <laughs> it's just right for the occasion and I like that. He gets a seven out of 10 for this actually a 7.5 out of 10 7.5 you all know that my 0.5s are very important so yeah <laughs> the next look is vicky's second introduction look this seafoam green straight cut out intricately beaded dress with sheer feature that snatched her so well vicky james is petite with an hourglass beautiful figure so silhouettes like these complement her shape so well I love, love, love it. Silver was the preferred hue of accessorizing. Her stylist, Damari Styling, went with 
this bedazzled clutch from Lux Extra, and these Mac and Mac pumps. Half up, half down, hairstyle by different care is gorgeous. Makeup by Ariki MUA held up nicely. And for jewelry, she went minimal with these four tier silver dangling earrings and string bracelets from Cherry Classic. A perfect evening look, I should add. I will rate her an 8 out of 10 for this. I really love the color. The style is simple. It suits her so, so, so well. We're done with the introduction outfits. Moving into the civil wedding looks, which has got to be one of my favorite looks from Vicky ever. So elegant, preppy, and graceful. The style infidel did a fantastic job creating the looks. I love that he drew inspiration from the iconic Jackie Onassis and the bride's brand shop Eric and delivered exceptionally on the design. First is this off-white tweed cohort set that features a mini length skirt with, is it a skirt? Actually, it's not a skirt, a dress, a mini length dress with corset detailing. V-cut waistline that is seamlessly attached to this lantern looking cut bottom. The jacket is cropped to further reveal the snatched waistline, her snatched waistline that is. <laughs> Footwear of choice are these white crystal logo um, Versace palms. Perfect layered pearl choker with matching bracelets and earrings from Louis Dio. Smoked out eye makeup and nude lips, courtesy B. Beyonce. And they kept on the side suit ponytail hairstyle. Fumi flowers came through with the modest bouquet, cute headband and dramatic veil from the bride's brand. It just they just married everything together to birth this phenomenal look she easily gets a nine from me for this love 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 it her second civil wedding outfit also in tweed but in this stunning blue shade features a mini skirt with frayed hem and a mini cold shoulder button down peplum jacket it has pockets on both sides and pleated flared out sleeves she looks like a very cute melanin upper east side doll. You know that type that's only exclusive to those that can splash thousands of dollars on a toy. <laughs> Keeping it super minimal in the jewelry section, giving the outfit more room to shine if you ask me. Footwear of choice is this sky blue Amina Muadi PVC Begum um, pumps. Did you all know that Begum means missus? So Vicky James was definitely in the spirit when she chose them. <laughs> This look gets an 8.5 out of 10 from me. I am totally totes here for it. Also styled by the style infidel is Femi in this light brown monochrome ensemble by Tinathan Official. Light brown suit paired with a matching button-up shirt and slim dark brown tie. His dual tone Oxfords are very fashion forward and distinct. I'm obsessed. I really love his shoes. He accessorized with a corsage that matches the bride's bouquet and sunglasses. Um, such a clean and tailored look. He gets a 9 out of 10 for this beautiful, straight to the point type of look. I love the monochrome thing going on. Amazing. The fit is spectacular as well. Now, turning up the heat <laughs> with the traditional wedding outfits. Femi and Vicky, they know one grief for anybody. See this wedding? They came in guns blazing in terms of fashion. I had no idea green and purple could work until I saw them. Vicky Jensen's first outfit, representing her tribe in, I would say, a modern way, in this fully beaded, form fitting green sweetheart neckline dress. So, so, so luxurious. Her stylist, style by Rivero, did not disappoint. Shoe and bag from Jimmy Choo, um, chunky coral set from Luidio as well, Gele from Adufe Gele. If I was asked to describe this look in one word, I'll go with outstanding. That's, that's just what he's given. She knows her onions when it comes to designing, and this is top tier. Usual me wouldn't be a fan of the sleeves, but for this, I think, I most certainly think it works. Almost tilting towards being too busy, but she actually knew where to draw the line. And for that, she gets a 9 out of 10. She knows what she's doing. She knows what suits her body. Next is her husband donning a bespoke Atafo creation. Green caftan shirt in either raw silk fabric or Mikado. I'm not so sure. Paired with same lace to match his wife and black loafers, 
accessorizing was done with a gold neck stud, triple layered beads with matching bangles, sunglasses, and a beaded black cap. Either the beads or the studs would have worked just fine, in my opinion. But like I mentioned, they were not playing with us, so I totally get it. He gets an 8 out of 10 from me for this particular look. The next looks are my absolute favorite of the entire bunch. Did I say that the civil look was my favorite? Scratch that, I take that back because this is it for me. Femi in HRH Luxury Royal Blue Abada with red embroidery for contrast and matching filler. It is giving Otumba, Otumba money. Matchy matchy jewelry by Odaise Jewels to kind of mirror the colors on the fabric. Custom shoes by Adam Sharks. Custom walking stick by the Star Infidel, who also styled him. Wristwatch from Swarovski and sunglasses from Ray-Ban for accessorizing. This is how you show up as a Yoruba groom. Top notch, nine out of 10. No, no, no competition here, yeah. love it. You see this Vicky's outfit? <laughs> it's not the type you give your tailor to recreate. If you were considering it, please, let me give you free advice. I bought mission. If not, eh, your what I ordered versus what I got will, will make it to CNN. It will go international. Because this is, this is a work of art. This is simply avant-garde. She showed the process of making it, and I was just in awe at her creativity. Spiral hand beaded masterpiece on his skin tone base for the blouse. Long sleeve, scallop neckline, and straight cut. I love the iridescent Ashoke fabric. Burgundy was the preferred hue for accessories. Burgundy Valentino pumps, Burgundy Giuseppe Zanotti purse, floral gold and red earrings from WOW accessories. Star by Rivero aids the styling on this. Vicky looked magnificent. The dress was sculpted to fit her body. Round gilly style gave her face more structure. Love it. She easily gets a 10 out of 10 from me for this her second traditional wedding look. Now to the D-Day, the ultimate white wedding look. Vicky's first look on that day was this perfectly sculpted white delicate lace mermaid dress that cascades into this over-the-top train. It looks perfect on her hourglass figure, high neck, long sleeve, corset inclusion, and a sheer moment added to the mix. I love that her and Rivero opted for a traditional and classic wedding dress. Minimal makeup by Rikie, hairstyled in a simple low bun by Adefunke. In the there's beauty and subtlety, very, very elegant. I'll rate her a 9.5 out of 10 for this. Femi came through in a white contemporary three-piece suit design with an unexpected pop of color by Atafo. Apparently, the cropped hen pants for men is here to stay, so we just have to roll with it. I love the play with light pink and blue colors on the tie and button up shirt. The waistcoat adds a layer of formality and style to the ensemble, which I think is cool. His shoes look like derbies, or are they Oxfords? No, I think they are derbies because the eyelets are on top. I don't know, I might be wrong. Either Debbie's or Oxford's. If the hem of the pants were just a tad bit longer, less than an inch even, I believe it would have contributed a more refined appearance to the entire look. Overall, he doesn't look bad at all. And yeah, he gets a 9 out of 10. Those were just my observations. The next fit is Vicky in her reception dress. Theme of the reception was vintage, and I think the couple brought their A game. An off white satin ball dress with a train. I think this is a detachable train. Sweetheart neckline, leg of mutton sleeves with those elaborate stoned pleated details going on. The pearl buttons and pleated waistline added a nice touch. Her short wavy hair and brick red lipstick shade further amplified the vintage theme. It's giving debutant. Fit is awesome as well. Simple pearl necklace and an elbow veil. I will call this an elbow veil. They both complemented the entire look nicely. This look, this look, 9.5 out of 10. It totally embodied the theme. I couldn't have asked for a better representation. Love, love, love it. Femi gave us a timeless feel in an Atafo bespoke representation of the morning suits. It captures the key elements required to pull off a look like this. Coats, trousers, waistcoats, shirts, and of course, shoes. You can either style this with a four-in-hand tie or a bow tie. I love that they went with a bow tie. Would have loved to see him in a top hat as well. 
to give that Victorian era um, vintage look. But I think that's secondary. Color combination is great. Lace up shoe choice is befitting. The Gucci Claire um, frames is giving what it was intended to give. Overall, a very timeless look in sync with the theme. The style in Fidel eats the styling on this. 10 out of 10 from me. Amazing stuff. Vicky's next reception look is this strapless, floor length, lace back corset dress made from this gorgeous black and silver fabric that literally illuminates. <laughs> it has some hand stitch corsages on the neckline, sheer gloves that give a modern day depiction of the Victorian era, I would say. She has arrived with this cute black stoned headpiece. It's the fact that <laughs> Vicky changed her hair for each look. That's what you get when one of your main girls is a top um, hairstylist. And also the fact that she was very dedicated to slaying on her wedding day. I, I'm totally here for that. I love that for her. The outfit gets an 8.5 out of 10 from me. <laughs> I wonder how long it took the Vicky James's team to come up with this after wedding party outfit. The details on the dress is insane. Wow. Sleeveless mid-length cut dress with a slit behind. Extraordinary beadwork. The sprouting gold flower appliques further elevated the dress, as you can see. Paired with gold paws, gold palms, gold chunky earrings, the dress stole the entire show, if you ask me. The half up, half down hair choice is a win as well. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, without a doubt. Yo, that's how I've dashed all my heart to get 10 out of 10 in this episode of Fashion Rose. Love on beating, they, they deserve it. Congratulations, Vicky and Femi. Your wedding outfits choke. He choke. He literally choke. <laughs> Since I don't have a worst look, what I'll do is to share my top three best looks for each person and pass the baton over to your watching to tell me in the comments. Yeah, my number one favorite outfit that Vicky James wore during the course of her wedding celebration is definitely the blue Ashoke outfit. Wow. Everything about it gave class. I'm just looking at it here. It gave luxury and I am totally here for that. Second on my list will have to be the off-white tweed set. Chef's kiss. That outfit is dreamy and it will be on wedding wood boards for a very long time. I believe that. It's so good. Look at the cuts now. Third fave for me, <laughs> there's a twist here because I have three third faves. <laughs> it's a tie between um, the second civil wedding look, the wedding ceremony dress, and the after party, after wedding party dress. I know I cannot choose all three, so for the purpose of this video, my third favorite outfit, worn by Vicky James for Love on Beating 24, will have to be the after wedding party outfits. Yay! I'm super intrigued by that dress. It looks like something that should be hung in a glass box. Just hang it somewhere in some museum for people to just walk past and be looking at it, taking pictures with it. That's what that dress is giving me. Moving over to Femi. Number one is definitely his reception look. He looked amazing. I love the vintage effect he had going on. The hem of the pants, perfect. <laughs> the feet, perfect. It was really, really nice. The color combo, amazing. Number two, civil wedding look. That brown monochrome outfit is everything and more. And number three for me has got to be the blue abada outfit. Otumba. I don't even know the meaning of Otumba. Please, my other people, let me know in the comment section. But I think it's something which has to do with something, someone that has money. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, it's now your turn. Let me know your favorite in the comment section. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please subscribe if you are yet to be a part of the Chantel Nation family. Please, please, it'll mean the world to me. It helps the reach of the video so much when you share. YouTube further um, recommends it to other viewers and you can see the numbers going up. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching or a thumbs down if you did not. Don't be the latter. Be the former. Okay? <laughs> Until I come your way again next time, don't forget to stay amazing. Mwah! Bye, y'all.